Um, my name is Mark Squire. I am an academic who is now in exile in the world of computing. Uh, I've been in, back in England from Thailand, which was where I was teaching since the early 90s. Um, and suddenly I've come across the Bolsom Centre and I've been teaching here at IT, and, um, but also wanted to get more into our interests, which include art history, um, literature and philosophy. The actual courses are um, the early Renaissance, an introduction to poetry, an introduction to philosophy. IT is kind of incidental, it's what gives me my bread and butter. Um, the philosophy, the art and the poetry all do go together for me as kind of, well I don't know, as a way of making life a little bit more interesting and wonderful and um, avoiding my enemy, facticity. And computers belong to the world of facticity or boring, uh, a world of lead, whereas uh, art transforms that into something much better. Age is one instance of facticity. You know, things that cannot really be avoided. You know, you can try to be an existential hero, but at the same time, you need to escape. Well, there are some things you cannot escape on in Sartre. Um, I'm not entirely convinced of that. I think that you can, and art is a way of transcendence. Um, yeah, it's kind of an idealistic position. The IT courses, um, currently we are aiming at um, really three levels. The top level is more to do with advanced uses for Microsoft Office, mainly Microsoft Office. Um, it isn't purely for business if you, are, if you want to, um, I don't know, draw a table, do, do a mail merge, create a database, that's the course for you. Um, but probably, if you're interested in business, it's a course you might want to do. Um, the other two courses, um, one is an intermediary course, and it's really to do with, um, well, having fun on the internet, using, using the internet, um, you putting music on your computer, um, manipulating pictures, improving pictures. Um, it does presuppose a little bit of a knowledge. Uh, and then there's a final course which we're looking at, which will be the very basics of computers for people who are a little bit nervous um, and this will take you through you know, how to avoid viruses, how to turn it off and on, how to go on the internet safely, how to shop without having your money stolen. And IT is something that enables things. Uh, it, if you can't drive a car you're a bit stuck, if you can't drive around the internet or buy things or shop online or, um, or look into politics. Uh, all these things are important, um, but they are a means to an end, whereas for the arts, I would say the arts are an end in themselves. If you reduce the funding to the arts, you really take away the point of life for most people. Um, you know, people are not convinced that religion will provide them with some kind of transcendence, something to, to, to escape from. We'll be ending up in a world of bleak shopping malls and uh, crime and it is going to be really horrible. The course on poetry is a very technical course, enjoyable but technical. Uh, I don't want people to come to the course thinking that we are going to be talking about moons and doves and a rather soft romantic view of poetry. Uh, the poets I like are Dunn, E. Cummings, um, it was quite romantic, but where you look at the poems they're hard, they're hard images, not hard to understand. Um, and so we'll be looking at technical things like rhythm, how does rhythm work, and looking at the poem as more of a machine than as a romantic, out uh, uh, romantic outpouring of the heart. Um, which, so that's what the poetry course will be about. The philosophy course won't provide answers, but it, what, what it will do is go through some of the questions and how they have been approached by philosophers. Um, and really, I mean, Aristotle said that the um, unreflective life is not worth living. I think that's a little bit harsh, but it is useful, I think, to question you know, how do I know that you, for example, have got a mind? I know I've got a mind. What does mind mean? Does it matter? Um, what, is there any sense of the concept of God? Um, Yes, some people find it difficult to question that or to even address it, but it's useful to think about it, even if you do stay with your own position on it. 
um, immortality, does that make, 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 make any sense? So the areas we'll be covering will, will also include art uh, and what is the nature of work of art. Uh, why is a work by, say, Damien Hirst, his shot, why is that a work of art? What makes it that status? And does it do any good? Traditionally, philosophy courses begin with a discussion of what philosophy is. Um, and I will as well. But I think it's probably easier to see it as it is done. There are lots of different schools of philosophy. Uh, I mean, currently we're coming out of the um, shadow of pure analytical philosophy, which was the Western tradition, uh, and more moving towards more kind of continental philosophy, or, or, or people like David Chalmers who are looking uh, at consciousness and saying, well, actually, maybe materialism is a little bit limited. Um, and so, yes, we will, I mean, we will be looking at what philosophy is, but also looking at the questions and um, hopefully having quite a lot of participation from people coming along the course. Because as I said, uh, I would pretend to have the answers, but I do know quite a lot of the questions have been asked and you know, the pros and cons of one approach or of another. There does seem to be a renewal of interest in philosophy. If you look, you will see books by people like Simon Blackburn from the Open University, you know, What is Philosophy? Um, and a lot of journals actually aimed at the amateur enthusiast. I mean, it could become as sexy as archaeology is now, well, maybe. Um, and yes, I mean, it surprises me that it is not more popular because with the decline of religion and so on in this country, you know, what else is there except to think 